a watch was sold at a profit of 10% had it been sold for rupees 35 more the profit would have been 12% find the cost price of the watch so the sum says a person sold a watch and he got 10% then they are telling if i add 35 rupees more on that the profit would have been 12% so we need to find the cost price so the, here they didn't give what is the cost price so let's take cp as x okay we are here dealing with profit percentage it's not profit it is profit percentage when you talk about profit percentage okay so what is the percentage is out of 100 on top of that he a whole is 100 right a whole is 100 okay on top of that he made a profit of 10 percent so profit of 10 percentage is 100 plus 10 so it is 110 percent okay so first let's uh, read write this in an algebraic way so a watch was sold at a profit of 10 percent so the cost price into profit of 10 percentage is 110 by 100 the next line had it been sold for rupees 35 more so if i add 35 rupees more to it the profit would have been 12 percent here again they are dealing with profit percentage so the profit of 12 percent is nothing but 110 100 plus 12 so it is 112 percent so when i add 35 to it my profit is cost price into 112 percent now i got my algebraic equation so just we have to solve this equation to get the cost price so here when i multiply here so x into 110 so i get 110 x by 100 plus 35 equal to x into 112 is 112 x by 100 now i need to take lcm here so when i take lcm here the here it is 1 so the lcm is 100 so 110 x plus 35 into 100 is 3500 by 100 equal to 112 x by 100 as both the numbers are same and its denominator gets cancelled so i get 110 x plus 3500 is equal to 112 x so take the variable to the other side so 3500 is equal to 112 x minus 110 x hence you get 3500 is equal to 2 x so x is equal to 3500 divided by 2 which is nothing but 1750 rupees so the cost price of the watch is 1750 so remember you can whenever you see profit percentage or loss percentage you just need to remember the whole is 100 if it is a profit then i need to add the profit with 100 if it is loss then you need to subtract the loss from 100 okay as it's only profit so we just dealt with addition adding the profit percentage but it holds true only for profit percentage updates on math and physics please click to subscribe